studied art in uh, Utah State University, and then I got a master's in creative writing. And so I was uh, both a writer and a, an artist. Who found a rich canvas for both practices at this crossroads of the American frontier. Everything that happened in the West came through Las Vegas. So it was an easy history to deal with, and there was a lot of, a lot of material to work with. And I just liked the area. I liked the history of it, and that's what really, I guess, kept me here. That and enlightened patrons of his distinctive art like Alan Karcher, whose father was one of Purcell's most devoted collectors. My father used to trade insurance policies for art with Roy Purcell, so I got to meet him. I think probably early 60s, I would say, so I've known him for a long time. Long enough to take up his father's cause and commission the expansive array of Purcell's historical works that are on display in the patio gallery. I went to Roy and says, Roy, I would like to have the history of the Las Vegas Valley painted by you. So let's start out because people don't realize we go back with Kit Carson and John C. Fremont and all that. Every era he depicts is a balance between a photorealistic treatment of the event that's literally etched as if from memory and a panorama of the scene as it might have been. And the centerpiece in all of these is an etching. That kind of grounds the piece. And then I use, uh, I printed the etching on a large piece of paper and then I continued with pen and ink to continue the imagery out onto the paper. And then uh, after I finished the pen and ink, then I used watercolor and then colored pencils and so it's a mixed media piece, and then writing the story itself on it. And the donation of these paintings by Alan and Lisa Karcher brings Purcell's Southern Nevada saga full circle to a place it can rightly call its present and past inspiration. That painting right there is the Springs Preserve. Before they had the Springs Preserve here, he was out here painting this before they even had this here. And so I came here and uh, made a study of the plants that were here and the animals and the birds and everything before I got into all the history projects because this was the center.